Do you want to see three-way bolts pulled in tension without us cleaning the hole before we installed it? Check it out on this episode of How Not to Highlight. Hi, I'm Ryan Jinks and welcome to Bolt Busters, where we release some brake tests every Saturday to teach you guys about bolts and how they work in all sorts of situations. Today we're talking about wave bolts installed with AC100 glue in holes that were not cleaned. Now if you know anything about glue and bolts, you know that they have to be really, really clean holes in order for the glue to adhere to the rock so the glue doesn't come out in one big cylinder with the bolt and kill somebody. So it's very important to clean the holes, but we did test to find out how that responds. So what we had was a smooth, shiny wave bolt. And what happened in our previous tension test that we did, that the wave bolt disengaged from the glue and pulled straight out, leaving the glue in the hole. What happened in this case was that it did the same thing. There was not enough adhesion to the bolt for it to compromise the glue in the hole. And so we got similar results to our previous tension test. Sample number seven is a wave bolt not clean. 0.5. Yeah, so that's nine. Is there it's, any it's failure? It's still bending. No, the glue's still holding. 14, it's it's fine. It's, oh, there we go. Yeah, the glue disengaged there around 14. Um, we're at, we're at 22.8 right now. This is the one without the glue all the way in the hole. What do you mean? This is the shitty one I did. Now the reason we got 22.88 kilonewtons, that's 8 kilonewtons lower than our highest, is because we believe I had an air bubble when we installed that, that bolt. And I think we tried to put some glue in there and there was an air bubble. I, I screwed up. Which just shows, and this is the whole point of bolt busters, is to show what happens when you basically fuck up. So we lost eight kilonewtons because of that air bubble, because with this glue, every millimeter counts. Number eight would have been like, oh, two, it's point better three, to four. Not. Wave so. bolt not cleaned well. Boom, do it. Stop. It's 12, keep going. It, uh, keep going. All right, stop. The glue failed at 19.7. 26.5. So As you can see in the videos, the glue did begin to fail around 14 to 18 kilonewtons, but we did get a maximum force of 22, 26, and 30. So it did hold a little bit more than the initial break. These are pretty unique because most break tests just go pop and make for much better footage. Now, we did do these tests in shear, and we did do these tests with epoxy, and we did do these tests in other bolts. We we're doing a thousand brake tests to find out everything about bolts. We're just releasing three at a time. And yes, we will do it in rock. We will do it in all kinds of rock because we do want to know what happens in real life situations. However, with the concrete slab we had available to us, it eliminated a lot of trips to the mountains, and we learned how to get our systems in tune before we make those trips. So, a spoiler alert, we did the wave bolts in shear, and we did get 39, 41, and 44 kilonewtons in shear. So they did perform pretty good, and that is with the AC100 vinyl ester glue. Now, epoxy is a much, much better glue, and I highly recommend that one. However, you can't be using it 15 minutes after you install it when you use epoxy. But with the epoxy test, pulling in tension straight out, like you see in this video, we did get 40 kilonewtons in those tests. So we were getting a full 10 kilonewtons more in those scenarios. So you can read all about this stuff at boltbusters on slackademics.com. We're going to rewrite everything in there based on the things that we're learning in boltbusters. So go to the Bolting Bible if you want to learn more about this stuff and how to install bolts correctly. Now, even though our results did not show a dirty hole was bad, it is bad the smoother the rock is. If you're doing granite and you got 
perfectly polished sides and you're using epoxy, you're not going to get the full value of that epoxy if the hole's not cleaned. It's general knowledge to clean those holes. Please, please do that. And also, please don't bolt if you don't need to. The whole point of bolt busters, the whole point of the bolting bible, is to encourage you not to bolt. Because there's a lot of things that you can do to rig high lines all natural or to climb without having bolts installed. Please only put them where you need them. And if you do put them in, please use stainless steel or titanium so they last many, many years. Because if you're putting in zinc plated shit, they're not gonna last very long and we'll be replacing them five, 10 years down the road or they could kill somebody before they get replaced. It's very expensive to install them. So let's try to only do it once.